Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mr. Science. And before we start the exercise, please subscribe to the channel, like this video and share with your classmates. Now, let's see our problem. If a force of 350 newtons is applied to the handle of the toggle clamp, determine the resulting clamping force at A. So here, we're gonna break our problem in two parts. The first part, you're gonna see our point C, and then here we're gonna have one member force, the force B, E, and here we're gonna have our force of 350 newtons, as our problem told us, and then we're gonna have a 30 degree angle that I'm gonna show with more detail next slide. So here I have my C, Y, and then my C, X. And then the other part is the clamp itself where I have our C, X, and C, Y, our D, X, and pointing up our D, Y. So here, I'm gonna draw in lines. And here, in the middle, we're gonna have our normal force A. So, we need to find our reaction CX to connect our two uh, members. Now, here, we're going to have our 30 degree angle in more detail is here. So, we can take the sum of the moments in C is equal to zero. So we're gonna start with the force B E cosine of 30 times 70 minus force B E sine of 30 times 30 millimeters minus and then 350 cosine of 30 times all the length, so 70 plus 70 plus 275 cosine of 30 minus 350 sine of 30 times our distance to 75 sine of 30 is equal to zero. So here we have that our force B E is equal to 117,468 divided by 70 cosine of 30 plus 30 sine of 30. So we have a value for our force B E is equal of 2574.8 newtons. Now that we discover FBE, we can do the sum of forces in x direction is equal to zero. And then we can say that here we have our CX, that I'm gonna point to the right. So we have CX plus 350 cosine of 30 minus 2574.8 cosine of 30 is equal to zero. Cosine of 30, no, sorry. Sine of 30 for both of them. Sine of 30 and here, sine of 30. So our CX is equal to 1100. 12.4, so yeah, 1,112.4 newtons. So now we found our force to connect our uh, members. So here we have our CX and then we have our normal force A. Why I'm gonna draw just these forces? Because I'm gonna choose D 
as my point so we're going to do the sum of moments about d is equal to zero and the only two force that i do moment do moment is cx times 60 minus n a times 235 is equal to zero so my n a is equal to 1112.4 times 60 divided by 235 so our n a is equal to 284 newtons so that's our final answer thanks for watching until the end don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel thank you